Ooh, look at those teeth. So just a quick thanks to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I uh, really appreciate that. The channel is growing from strength to strength. If you want to go one step further, you can now become a member. You just join uh, through the membership uh, button that's next to the subscription button and we'll even make it easier for you by putting a link below the video. Uh, membership obviously comes with its own set of perks. Uh, there are uh, exclusive videos as well as uh, badges and photographs that get sent to you and you get kept up to date with what's going on. So it is truly worthwhile becoming a member. Yeah. Hey everybody, uh, driving in and today I'm going to be filming a new installment in the Meet the Character series. Uh, it's a clan of spotted hyenas and I promise you I haven't neglected them. I'm saving pretty much the best for almost last because I've still got one more group after them to do. Uh, but it is Gina's clan and a lot of I've been asking about Gina. A lot of you have been saying, hey, uh, you know, Gina's such a character. She's been around for so long. Uh, so today's your lucky day. Going to be talking all things Gina and her clan. So I hope you enjoy today's video. Hello, my girl. You hear my car, eh? It always fascinates me how the animals respond to the sounds of cars. So they know the feeding car, they know the loading car, they know the sound of my car. And any other car, they'll be mildly interested, but um, they won't come up and say hello. So they understand the, the tones or the sounds that are emitted, the frequencies uh, by, by the cars. And they'll, they'll hear it miles away and they'll already be alert uh, once they see the car entering the sanctuary shame. They all want a bit of love, but uh, today it's uh, about the hyenas. Um, there's old Nikita running about. Right, so just a few things that I've got to do, preparation. One is some catnip for Woody. The others don't seem to be as excited about catnip as Woody. You'll see what Woody likes to do with catnip. And then the other little container is going to carry some treats of biltong. So it's not just uh, you know, rock up at the, en the enclosure and, and go in and do your, you do your thing. These animals all have their, their firm favorites and you, you know, you find these out over the years and then they kind of grow to look forward to those little treats. Many of you will know the black leopards love the pulchards. Um, the hyenas love biltong. The lions like eggs, boiled eggs. So each group of animals has their little favorite. And uh, it's quite funny, I spend my life going to the shops, buying stuff, not for me, <laughs> but for the animals. Okay, so who do we have here? We have all the hyenas in Gina's clan. There's Woody, Woody, Woody. Hello, Wood, Wood. And Gina, Gina, Gina. And they're all sitting together today. There is Nancy Nancy and over there is Ringo. And we'll talk a little bit about them. Vaetsi thinks I'm coming in to tickle his chin. Uh, sorry Vaetsi, uh, I will be coming shortly, but not for this video. Always the first to greet is Woody and Gina, Nancy will hang in the background and so will Ringo. All right. Hello puddings. Hello puddings. Come, let's go in here. Come on. All right, so I think we all know from the 
Ceres sense and sensibilities that the hyenas noses are very very sensitive they have these acute senses of smell and so the biltong in my pocket is a lure for them <laughs> can't get away from that one and first one to join me is miss gina pants what do you smell miss gina and let's start with gina Gina the hyena. She actually got her name with the spelling um, Gina, not G I N A. It's actually G E E N A, like hyena, or pronounced like hyena. I must just watch out for Nancy Pansy who likes to sneak up behind me. But um, so, Gina is. Uh, 19 years old, almost 19 years old. So, ooh, look at those teeth. She wants to say that she still has amazing uh, teeth for her age. One would consider Gina to be a grandma um, of hyenas. You see, they don't like the brush, they like my hand. Yeah, hey. <laughs> still, she still has a healthy set of chompers. But uh, Gina is the matriarch of the clan, and she always has been. Don't they cause trouble here, Nancy Pansy. Nancy's trying to steal my camera. Never a dull moment when Nancy is around. Uh, wants to make it all about her. And what's happened, uh, we'll get to you, Nancy. We'll get to you. How's your back doing? She had a bit of a bite on her back the other day. Okay, so let's go over here. Come, Ginny. Just talking about Gina. She's the matriarch. She always has been. She hasn't been overthrown. She kind of rules with an iron fist. Uh, anyone who gets in her way will be uh, brutally sorted out. Um, so make no mistake, her kindness is because she likes me. Um, she's not that kind to uh, clan members that step out of line, including her daughter Nancy Nancy Pansy and Nancy is um, next in line Nancy is coming on eight years of age she's a rather big rather large hyena so um, she has been challenging mom a bit which is interesting so she wants to overthrow her and I'm sure in years to come she might just do that um, perhaps Gina will just uh, submit and that'll be fine but as I know Gina I'm not sure she's going to go down without a fight so hyenas uh, when they do uh, conflict like this they they will fight it's it's not a question they sort out their dominance through um, uh, aggression uh, so you know if you if you're trying to if you're trying to come at a hyena society by saying, hey guys, you need to all just get along. It's not going to happen. They, all they know is that pecking order and they, they live by that, 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 that strict hierarchy. It's not to say that it doesn't change, but the, the hierarchy will change if uh, individuals see an opportunity to get one uh, level up in the pecking order. Are you coming to say hello? All right. So this is dear Woody. Woody, can we just demonstrate you quickly what Woody does? I'm going to try and put this down. Hopefully, we don't have. Oh, here comes Nancy Pansy. Let's see. <laughs> Nancy! <laughs> Always coming to spoil the party. But here, before Gina comes, look here. This is catnip. Catnip. Not you. I have to pick up the camera otherwise I'm going to lose it. Sorry. So catnip is a firm favorite of Woody. So this is, the, this is what this pecking order is about is um, I need to be cognizant of the fact that Gina is the dominant individual and I need to show her uh, that appreciation and attention. So if I start um, by coming in here and just smothering Woody with love 
then we're going to have a situation where Gina is going to get upset and most likely is going to kind of dominate um, Woody. Now what's happening there is Miss Muffet uh, is trying to intimidate Woody. This is Nancy trying to intimidate Woody and is obviously getting the better of her now. And now she's going to submit by lifting her leg. There she is, submitting. She might even put out, of her, put out her pseudo penis, which she's not doing. But immediately when Nancy says, hey, I want you to submit to me. I want you to stop concentrating on Kevin and start concentrating on me. Woody does it because she knows that if she doesn't, then there's going to be trouble. Basically, Naughty Nancy <coughs> has chased her away. So should we talk about Naughty Nancy? <laughs> yeah, Naughty Nancy is definitely going to be the, the next big boss in this clan. And she is certainly starting to throw her weight around. Now, with Hyena Clan, it's this concept of blue blood. So you're born into royalty. So if you're a male or a female born into, uh, born to a high-ranking female like Gina, you're getting the best nutrition. You're getting, um, you know, you're getting to understand how to dominate. Um, you're born naturally with this, with this, um, you know, slight advantage. I was, I'd call it a not a slight advantage, but actually quite an advantage over your peers. Because this clan has now become three female, one male, uh, we need to get to Ringo. Ringo is uh, 10 years old and uh, he's a male. So naturally he's the lowest ranking in this clan. It doesn't matter what he does. He's never going to be higher ranking than Woody. He's always going to be the lowest ranking because he's a male. There's always this, um, this nervousness between her and myself um, and it's, it's kind of strange because other hyenas have really calmed down in the past uh, to, this, to the extent that you could actually scratch them under the, under the, the chin and on the neck. But Nancy's always had this um, kind of, um, she, she, she's had this, this element of fear where she won't, she doesn't quite know what I'm going to do. It's just, I suppose it's an element of distrust that she will get to a point where you could touch her on her face or on her nose. But as soon as you start to try and scratch, then she does that kind of behavior. Um, so it's truly a, a wild characteristic um, in Nancy. And some, some days she's really um, chilled and curious, uh, but then other days she's a little bit um, erratic. And that is the, the issue really with, with a hyena like Nancy, because what could quite easily happen is she could she can mistake um, a gesture uh, for something threatening and then and then that could end badly so um, one has to have a, a healthy respect for her uh, personality and it's it's an interesting thing because we are doing a the, this, this episode is a meet the character so she is a real character so she'll she'll be one of the first to always come up and say hello um, so because she she naturally thinks that i'm bringing her some tasty treats now woody has caught wind and smelt the bultong in the air but woody woody doesn't really care yeah you go there and you go here so you'll notice she doesn't chunk off the leg as probably what would happen with with nancy and she totally uh, she totally no no don't steal the camera she totally gets um the fact that i'm a food source but um Again, she, it's almost the the the, the possession is nine tenths of the law because she doesn't uh, just 
fight into my pocket here to to get the treats she has a respect for that which is which is a healthy respect and i i really appreciate that old woody um so woody will kind of eat the the bultong out your hand okay so i don't know if you saw that which is for me always so impressive about uh, the mental aptitude of these animals is she knows I have a treat in my hand but she won't just bite my hand she'll wait for me to open my hand and then she'll lick out the treat or, or gobble up the treat um, so it's really a phenomenal thing um, when this animal and we all know the power of a hyena's jaws and we know that if she wanted to she could just uh, bolt off uh, the hand the reason Ringo hasn't come up is because at the moment there's food going around and uh, unfortunately if he's here he's going to be chased away so he knows there's no point in even coming up because he's just going to get um, hammered. Here comes Trouble, Troublemaker, Troublemaker, full on Troublemaker, yeah, full on Troublemaker. The trust, the trust for the one, but not for the other. Kind of an interesting phenomenon. <laughs> She's really wanting to bite this camera. <laughs> on the one hand, I've got the one trying to bite the camera, and on the other hand, I've got the other one sucking my top again. <laughs> But what are we gonna do, Woody, 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 Woody? Come here. I wanna, I wanna show the people something. Come. Let, let's, let's show everyone what Woody does when I give her catnip. The only hyena, only animal in the world to do this with catnip. Maybe there's something in vegetarian hyenas or, or vegan. This is a purely vegan. And now Nancy's wanting some, yeah. It's not, it's not the same if it's not. No, wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, here's Ringo. Before he runs away. We need to, we need to talk about Ringo. You see? Always on the skirts, always just observing, not getting too involved in the girls' politics. And keeping a healthy social distance. Hello Gina. Hello my girl. Come. All right. Here we are by the night pen. Gina, Gina, Gina. No, please don't put your nose on the camera lens. So Gina's absolute favorite is to be tickled under the chin more than anything in this world. Always used to say, I'll tickle you pink. I'll tickle you pink. Yeah, you know what that means. <laughs> How can you not love these animals? Hyenas have had such a bad rap for so long, but What's really, really cool is they're starting to um, receive much better commentary and they are getting much more positive press. Uh, we still have a long way to go, but I have had a fair amount of people getting really excited about seeing uh, spotted hyenas in the wild, which uh, normally people wouldn't even stop to look at or even photograph a hyena but nowadays you actually get people even requesting to see spotted hyenas so uh, that is a really really positive thing a really really cool group of animals and i hope you all got to understand a little bit more about this clan they are wonderful I hope you are enjoying the videos. If you are, please do share them. And if you have comments um, that you would like to uh, 
share with us or there's some ideas, please put them in the comments. Uh, the guys will go through them and we do look at them and we do try and um, create content or create videos that you guys want to watch. So uh, thanks again and until next time. Bye.